Okay, so this is my answer to Mr. Learn Electronics, uh, well, let's call it challenge, um, to build your own boost converter. So, naturally I thought, well, I have some inductors, so, well, I have this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, the thing is, this thing is just big. This little tiny one uh, has 3.5 millihenry this one has 2.2 so I was a bit disappointed in this one I thought well I must find something that has more millihenry than uh, the guy from Le electronics has so I searched through my pile up here and saw my transformers and I had a tiny transformer here and I measured its values um, the side, the low voltage side has 2.9 ohms at 626 millihenry, and <laughs> the mains voltage side has 840 ohms at 12.8 henry. And I thought, I have to drive this off 5 volts, so I need to get some amps through there. If I use the side with the high resistance, I'm not gonna get uh, much amps into the thing, so... That's not gonna work. So I decided to use the low voltage side with 2.9 ohms and 626 millihenry. And yeah, that's my circuit. We have an IRFZ44N here, which actually requires 10 volts to switch, so it gets a bit hot when switching. We have the diode, little black thing, and we have a capacitor. This one is a 400 volt one, uh, for a reason, because I didn't know what voltages I could expect, so, yeah, decided to, better safe than sorry, took a high voltage one. Um, this resistor here, that's 100k, uh, I think Learn Electronics also used uh, 100k in his uh, experiment, so, yeah, this thing is hooked up plus wire is somehow stuffed in there yeah the, the uh, probe broke off a long time ago just tint the wire and it fits perfectly in here we have the negative thing somehow up here <laughs> um, and we have the power supply that's 5 volts and you see the current is going up to 175 milliamps it's working I don't know if you can hear it there's like a, a high pitch whine and we have 70 volts so that's quite nice I do not want to touch that um, I didn't fiddle too much with the settings what I have now is um, an interval of 200 microseconds and a duty cycle of 95% so 95% of the time it's on and then it's off for 5% and the interval is 200 milli uh, microseconds. So that's the high pitch wind. That should be like 5 kilohertz? I think 5 kilohertz, yeah. <clears throat> and that's how we got 70 volts. So you see the thing back here is drawing 174 milliamps. And you wonder where might that go? Well, luckily I have a a camera here that can show you so you see one part that's over here I don't know if you can even see that that is the transistor and my camera just switched off its display uh, yeah the transistor that gets moderately hot um, I can't really measure it because the the temperature measure, measuring thing is not aligned with the camera not properly at least um, so it's hard to measure small things and the um, the resistor is getting really hot. Uh, you see this place just starting to flicker. That means it's over 125 degrees uh, C. So, yeah. But I calculated it and it's correct. It dissipates that amount of heat um, due to the 70 volts that I have. So, yeah, very nice experiment. Um, maybe I will start to... Uh, <laughs> experiment a bit more with it 
try to make a kind of feedback for the microcontroller so I can measure what kind of voltage I have and then adjust the duty cycler yeah I guess that's it <laughs> we will see what the future brings so 70 volts or 71 who can beat that 